What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Your girls in cool tones. This is so rare for me. I used to wear cool tones all the time and after working in the makeup industry I started shifting over to warm tones and haven't left since so this is definitely bringing back some nostalgia for me when I used to only wear cool tones. This look is also a nice easy way to incorporate some type of color in your routine without you feeling like you're wearing color. The blue tones are everywhere right now so I had to dabble in. I loved how it turned out. I hope you guys do too so if you would like to see how we got this beautiful cool tone look then keep on watching. One, I look semi naked but I have a shirt on and two, you guys, I got a new light. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like looking in my finder, my video already looks so much brighter. So I'm really happy about that. I know it seems like really lame to be like, oh my god, I bought a new light and it makes my videos look better. So oh my god, blah, blah, blah. but it really does. Like, I feel like just the ambiance of this video now just seems better. So today we're gonna do the eyes first because we're gonna jump back into the Viseart Grande Pro eyeshadow palette, you guys. I'm in love with this palette. I used it in my last tutorial with the Desi Transformation and I just need to use this palette as many times as I can to get all uses out of these shades because they're just amazingly gorgeous. So today I want to go in with the cooler tones, the bluer tones. I know with Jeffree Star Cosmetics with his blue blood, I, there's so many blue looks going on, going on around and I just felt like in a blue mood. So I'm going to be using these and because they're so pigmented there is some slight fallout but to me that does not bother me because the pigment is there that is to be expected so let's just do the eyes first so that we can be more wary of the fallout pulling my hair back as always so that this stays out of my face taking my Too Faced Born This Way concealer my favorite go-to let me know if you guys have a favorite concealer because as of like the last, I wanna say like three, four months, this is basically the only concealer that, not only concealer, you guys know I use a lot more, but the only concealer that has like wowed me, like I'm in love with this. So drop below, let me know what your guys' favorite concealers are as of lately. Then I like to take a little bit of some setting powder just to set that concealer we laid down. So the eyeshadow will go on nice and smooth. With a large fluffy eyeshadow brush, I'm just gonna be going into these two shades right here just to lay down a shade and add a little bit of brightness to the lid before we start bringing in those nice blue tone shadows. So really quick, this is gonna be like the first cool tone look, like fully 100% cool tone look that I've done in so long. I remember when I first started off in makeup, I only wore cool tones. Um, my jewelry would be silver, my clothes would be cool toned, my grays, my whites, and just my makeup would always be cool toned. And then after working in makeup for a couple of years, I switched to completely the warm side. So my jewelry is gold. I like wearing warmer clothing, warmer makeup. And so it's like weird that I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> it's just gonna be different for me. But I'm excited because I can't neglect my cool tones. Like, they're so beautiful. And even though warm tones, like, make blue eyes stand out so much, I feel like when you use the right cool tones, it'll have that same effect with bluer eyes. Now taking my Smith 232 brush, we're going to dip into this shade right here. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. And we're basically gonna use this shade as the transition for all the other shades. So now that I have that color just really softly even on both eyes, we're gonna be dipping into this shade right here which is like a really pretty soft gray and taking my Smith 230 brush, just dipping into that shade and we're just going to pop this right in the crease and about, I would say about halfway on the lid. Really pushing that right into that crease bone and then blending it slightly outwards. I always like fading my shadows outwards because it gives that nice swoop, that almond shape. If you don't like your shadows to be like that, just go ahead and tuck it in right here. Now I'm just dipping in a little bit more and we're just layering that shade and now I'm kind of pouncing on there so that the shadow sits there and doesn't blend away. This really ensures that packing of the pigment and it's gonna intensify the shade more. Then going back in with the Smith 232 brush, I'm just going to, nothing on this brush, 
just go through those shades and make sure that they're all blended together nicely. Now we're gonna deepen up the look a little bit. So I'm gonna go in with this brush. There's actually no name on it, but I just purchased it at the American Beauty Show in Chicago that was just like a week ago from the Crown section. If you guys don't know who Crown Cosmetics are, Crown Brushes, they're basically a Morphe and nobody really knows that. And if you do know that, you're an OG. Hey, what's up? But uh, definitely take a look. This brush actually reminds me of the Morphe M433 brush. So really, really nice. We're going to dip into this deeper charcoal shade with that brush. And we're going to do more of a padding motion to really deepen up that lid and also just to make it a little bit smokier. I love the shape of this brush because it really just like tucks in right in that crease. So if you don't have one of these brushes by now, I think you're gonna need one, they're amazing. And then swooping ever so softly right along the lash line. Then I'm gonna take my Morphe E36 brush, which to be honest, I think this is hands down my favorite eye brush that Morphe has ever made. This does so many things for me, I just love this brush. But now we're gonna dip into that black shade because I just wanna smoke this up just a little bit more. But we're gonna really focus this right on the lash line. You guys know I love smoking my lash line. It's my favorite thing to do. It works great if you don't want to wear actual liner or if you just want that fake liner look. I love doing this. Now taking my MAC 239 brush and dipping into that lighter shade that we used earlier, and I'm basically just going to put it right here just to help to brighten up any of that little inner corner area because sometimes some of the shadow gets there and it really darkens up my inner portion because I have like deeper set right there so it gets dark pretty easy so I always like to just put that shadow there just to help brighten up the eye back up. Now taking my Makeup Forever 216 Wavy Brush, we're just going to dip into those shades that we used on the lid to smoke out the lower lash line. So dipping into that lighter blue and that lighter gray and really just pushing that up right up on that lash line. And then with my Morphe E36 with that like charcoal shade that we used right before we did the black, we're gonna push that right in that corner right here. Only thing that I don't like about smudging is I always get like <laughs> so much eyeshadow in my eye and then I'm like, help. Okay, so we're going to clean up the under eye. I'm just going to take a little bit of my Anastasia oil that I always take on a link, a little cotton pad, and we're just going to go ahead and sweep all of that fallout that we had. Moving on to the face, I'm going to be using my Elysian Continuum Primer. This is a finishing treatment. You can use it as a part of your skincare routine or as part of your makeup routine. I love using this as a makeup primer. It's great because it also has anti-aging benefits to it, and who doesn't like that in their makeup. I just really love the way that it makes my skin feel, my makeup sit on my skin, and the way it helps my makeup to last all day long. For foundation today, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way, as always, in light beige, and also my veil. You guys haven't seen this in a minute. I haven't used it in a couple of videos, but my Veil Hourglass Foundation, this is in the color Ivory. Just mix those two together and apply it right on the skin. I love this Hourglass Foundation by itself, but I also love pairing it with other foundations too because it has this just like beautiful, nice glow to it, so it helps to make any foundation a little bit more on the dewy or glowy side. Like, I swear, this foundation is just so amazing. This is actually one of the first high-end foundations I ever wore back in 2011. It's so long ago, and it's been a favorite in my collection for that long. I feel like when I say 2011, it feels so long ago, but yet, still like yesterday. So I just did a sheer wash of those foundations because I really want to go a little bit fuller with my concealers. So as always, back with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. Again, color light beige. We're gonna apply this right up underneath the eye, around the nose, any little blemish area that's popping through. Got you. Then taking my Maybelline Master Conceal, this is in the color light medium. I put that on my pan and I'm taking my beauty blender, dipping into that, and I'm just going to blend those together. 
These two shades are very close in color, so I will be going in with a slightly lighter concealer. But I really love that the way that these two concealers mix well together, which is why I wanted to put them together. I've said it once before, I'll say it again. The Maybelline Master Conceal, that is my favorite, hands down favorite drugstore concealer of all time. I don't think that there's a better drugstore concealer out there. I'm gonna say that. I really don't. But I think I, it's because I love it that much. Like it's, it truly is up there with all high-end concealers. So I do want a little bit more of a brighter look throughout the center of the face. So I'm gonna be going in with my ColourPop No Filter Concealer, and this is in the color Light 16. Now to set those eyes, as always, my RCMA No Color Translucent Powder. This stuff is just the bomb.com. I have a lot of people always asking me like what my favorite setting powder is, and it's truly that because it's just for how like finely milled that this powder is. It truly is the thinnest and softest powder I've come across thus far. But if you guys have any other suggestions or options of setting powders that you guys love, always share that with me because you know I love makeup and love trying new products. Now for contouring, you guys know that I love my Makeup Forever Contour Palette and this is in the shade 30 and I always use this shade right here. But I feel like sometimes it's always I don't know, silly when you just use one thing out of a palette. So it's really hard to suggest products where I'm like, hey, you should get this even though I only use this shade. So I came across this YouTuber and I really don't remember her name, but she was using one of the LA Girl concealers and she named off the one that she was using, which is this one. It's um, Beautiful Bronze. And I was like, oh, you know what? That actually kind of looks similar to what I use here. So I tried it the other day. It's a dupe. So for any of you guys looking for something similar since I use this all the time, try this. We're going to actually be using this today so you guys can see it firsthand. And because it's a concealer, like it's a lot more strong than my palette. So like honestly, that is all that I'm going to be using for my entire face. I'm going to be taking my Morphe E8 brush just like very lightly dipping into that product and we're going to pounce. Like you see how dark that is? I, I didn't even touch it. Like, I literally touched that end. It's insane. It's also good because I feel like with that um, concealer consistency that this is going to last a lot longer. You just, you know, got to blend it in. So I feel like once you blend it in, it really just gives that beautiful color, contour, everything. And what I like about it too, because it is so pigmented, that I won't have to go as heavy with bronzers or other bronzing powders to set that because this is already so strong and pigmented. And then of course, as always, I like to bring it along my hairline. Now I'm gonna contour the nose with it and I'm gonna use this tip. It's gonna seem like a lot, so we're gonna have to blend this out, but this is how I'm gonna do it. A little line right there, a little, little line right there, and then taking, where are you? There you are. Taking my Hakuhodo brush, okay, so this is where we're at. Okay, sure. And do you see, do you see why I tell you guys that like I hate when I put up, apply it on here? Because like I just, here we go, blend this out, cool. Awesome. So now what I tell you guys, like this is why I like to apply it on instead of like swiping. This is why. Because then it's just, it's always too much for me. <laughs> but hey, it blended out really nicely, so no worries there. Okay, now let's set all of this. So of course, using my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow, I want to glow first. Morphe 510 brush, as always, go into that glow. And I love to glow everywhere. To me, glowing skin is just, I don't know, it gets me every single time. But I like like soft glowing skin, not like the blinding glowy skin, because sometimes I feel like with certain highlighters, it can look kind of like muddy. It's like a white muddy line strip. I don't know. So I'm not really a fan of that glow. It's pretty in pictures and camera, no doubt, but in, in person it's a little too much for me. So I like 
the softer glow. What I like about this glow too, because we're keeping this a cool tone look, this whole palette here is pretty cool. So um, I would say like cool to neutral, so this works perfectly. Then taking my Japanese highlighting brush, dipping into that sculpting shade, and we're just gonna go all over anywhere that we put that concealer color down. And this really just helps to emphasize that shade we laid down before, and then also kind of just seal it in so that it stays put and ready to go. Then I'm going to take my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is in the shade Bronzer. It's still more of a, I would say, like cooler, neutral tone bronzer, so still goes with this nice look. I need to bronze my neck a little bit, so we're just going to use that shade to bronze up all here so that um, all of this matches. And then I'm going to take a little bit of that and kind of just pop it everywhere because I like to be a little extra bronzy. And this brush, by the way, is the Japanesque Powder Brush. Then I'm going to take some Kat Von E Translucent Powder. Right before we do the blush, I just want to pop this right under here just to kind of clean it up, brighten up underneath here, give it a nice little sharp look. And then I really don't even leave it on long. I just like dust it away immediately after because I don't like that harsh look. I just want it to be a little bit brighter and softer and also just a little bit more setting. For blush, we're going to be using the Anastasia Blush Trio. This is in Pink Passion. I love her blush trios. I, I can't rave about them enough. All of these nice, cool shades. I'm going to be using the shade um, Rose. Taking my Japanese highlighter brush, dipping into there, and then applying right on the cheeks. Taking my Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. Going ahead and spraying the face because I'm feeling extra, extra dry today. I know my, my last video or the video before that I felt really dry, but I feel like really, really dry right now. I got nothing new for the brows and lashes, so I'm going to apply them on and I'll be right back. Brows and lashes are on. I'm feeling brand new. So for the lip, we're going to be using the ColourPop Lip Liner as my lipstick as well. And this is in the color... Deeper. This is actually my first time using the ColourPop lip liners. I've used basically everything else ColourPop and I'm impressed. I really, really like these a lot. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know I love using lip liners as just my lipstick too. If you ever come across a lip liner that's a little too drying, you can always pop a little Vaseline, some chapstick, mix it together and that works as well. But these ColourPop lip liners are super, super creamy, so works just as perfect as a lipstick. I really love this color too because it's a nice cool tone that just kind of pulls this whole cool tone look together. Well, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this nice little cool tone blue tone makeup look and let me know in the comments below are you guys team warm tones or team cool tones I think this would be a fabulous look for literally everybody to wear so if you ever dabble in some blues let me know how you like it thank you guys again for always watching do not forget to like comment and subscribe to all my videos if you guys like to see more and if you're not following me on Instagram follow me girl I am way more interactive there so hit a follow there and I will just see all of you guys in the next video bye